Okay, today we're going to try to fly the uh, Cox T6 Texan. Um, I got this one with uh, the orange Corsair that I have. Um, all I got was the airframe, and it is complete, luckily. Uh, I pulled off all the decals, which were stuck on it, and um, put in a sure start, the same one I had in the Mustang. I'm going to use a Corsair propeller for you know, line tension. And I put on a red PT-19 spinner because usually I think these come with a, like a quite heavy uh, prop nut. I don't know why, it's super nose heavy, but we'll see. Um, it has a very interesting assembly on the tail, which is held on by a rubber band. Uh, and there's not a Z-bend in the control rod, so it, it can come off easily. And I, I thought too easily, so I put some tape on there to hold it together. Because I, I figure if the, basically if the rubber band comes off, this whole thing goes into the ground. So uh, anyway, let's see if we can get it fired up in, uh, in the air. I thought I'd do a little bit of post-crash analysis on the Cox T6. Um, it looks like it was really tail heavy and I guess it does need some kind of balance hub um, that I didn't have. So I think I may have a balance hub in my stash. If not, I can, I can order one. Um, I think I'll switch back to the two blade propeller. I don't know if that had anything to do with it. It looked like the it was weird. It didn't have any line tension, and it didn't, uh, and it looked like it stalled, like it was tail heavy. And uh, I would have foolishly tried again, but the uh, the uh, vertical stabilizer broke, and I couldn't really get it back together. So I'm gonna, uh, you know, do little things on here. I'm gonna change the propeller to. Uh, 6.3 standard safety prop like it comes with it. I'm going to get the balance hub for it and install that Which will make it even more nose heavy. I guess it needs to be super nose heavy to fly and um, I will glue the tail back together and then we will try it again <laughs> 